On a day out from Brisbane, well, we have the place for you to come and enjoy. We're here in Stanthorpe, and there's a couple of things that Stanthorpe is famous for. One of those is wineries. They have a strange bird winery tour that you can do. And you wouldn't think about Queensland being a wine region. Stanthorpe has quite a few wineries you can come and enjoy. But there's also another thing that's famous in the area, and that is apples. So the first place we're going to take you to is the best apple pie you will ever eat in your life. Sutton's. So come on the trip with us. So we brought our good mates with us from Brizzy. We're taking them up here to Stanthorpe, Terry and Charlotte. So you'll see his excellent frogaroo he does. Anyway. So come with the four of us as we go exploring Stanthorpe today. Guys, mm -hmm. this is the famous Sutton's apple pie. Look at that. It's got this amazing texture, which um, pretty much does the apple pie the justice it requires without overpowering the taste of the apple, which is amazing. We're so lucky to have this food connoisseur <laughs> with us today. <laughs> World renowned. Terry Lewis, all the way from Goa. Yep, thanks. <laughs> what do you reckon, babe? Do you agree with Terry's sentiments? It's good. If, if what he's saying is that it's good, then I agree with it. <laughs> Look at that, chock full of apples. just come out of uh, Castle Glen. They've got lots of liqueurs there, all types of flavours you can think of and all the most craziest names in the world for a liqueur. What, 
we're starting off with all the subtle places. Apple pie, cheese, and then all of a sudden... Let's go eat some cheese! Apple cheesy! <laughs> gonna be cheesy today. <laughs> well, the camera's out. Lovely mild and creamy cheese. Mm. Ooh. What are you think, Jim? <laughs> it's got a pepper here. Mm. Tastes a bit peppery. Do you feel the sort of Rex in it? Well, it's got a. I wouldn't call it Rex. Oh wow, that's a whole pepper there. That's why. That was like four of them in that one tiny chip piece. <laughs> that was nice. I wouldn't mind some cheese with my pepper yeah, next time. <laughs> what do you think, Charlotte? Mm -hmm. That's good. She loves. She loves. I love blue cheese. She loves blue cheese. Right. Now I'm all cheesed up, cheesed off, and ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Kominos. Kominos. Our first winery here on the Greek islands. Let's do this. Feel the cosmos. <laughs> Australia, as they say, is around 80 to 90 percent the familiar Greeks, which are the Capsavs, the Shiraz, but the, the strange bird is basically grapes which are not actually maybe around 10 percent of overall Australian grapes, which maybe is Zinfandel, Outback, and it seems this region soil is good for those kind of grapes, and therefore they're trying to give this a, a very specific region, which is called the strange bird, and therefore market stamp up for that reason. That reason. So, this is the Savlon. Yeah. So, it's, it's actually like really nice. Yeah. For that reason. Because sometimes the acidity takes over and yeah, you're just like, oh, it's too much. Yeah. This, is, this is nice. Yeah. The bouquet is amazing. And the, the, the iconic glass is the Riddell. And they're hand blown in Austria. They make different shapes, which uh, they say favours certain aromas for different mm. varieties. Mm. So, you just run it up the wall. I like to have, if the wine's cold, the glass really shouldn't be cold too because you're smelling what's coming off. And if the glass is a little bit warmer, you get more aroma. Mm. And so you do that and you get a lot of the aroma coming off. And what judges do is they put it in their mouth and they vaporise it. And that helps then to, to get the aromas into the back of your nasal cavity. Mm. And you can really start to pick up more about the wine that way. Right, where's the handbags? <laughs> where's the LV? <laughs> it's a good, that's how that's true. wine judges do it. <clears throat> do your sampling, how he showed you, how Tony just showed us. That's, that's wild berries for sure. <laughs> well, we just finished coming out of uh, Komonos Wines and the cellar door here. They are the loveliest couple from Greece. Um, good to speak a little bit of Greek. They didn't understand much Hindi. Now for, uh, for a change. <laughs>
<laughs> that's good. The Greeks didn't say it was from India. Uh, yeah, that's right. After that's... two hours of chatting, we finally bought one bottle, which was an achievement. They had no reds. <laughs> they only had whites, but they have got reds coming as Shiraz too. So. They're obviously popular. They sold out on their reds. So yeah. Definitely one to come and check out. Yeah, so double. when you're doing the strange bird tours, you've got to come to Komenos Wines. Mm -hmm. And if me. you want a nice, refreshing wine, right, that's the one. That's the one. Beautiful. And meet the owners, Mary, Mary and, and Tony. Tony. All right. Next stop. How many wineries you done first of all for you? <laughs> uh, Valentin do charge a five dollar tasting fee, but they do take that off any purchase that you make. So that's pretty good. So we have a world renowned wine connoisseur from India. So so we're filming at the moment, so from Goa. You see all his wine videos he does on Fair Income Adventure. So So what did you say, Jenna? Just I'll repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> in Grand Belt region there's roughly 30 um, and a lot of people are surprised at how well um, we all work together. Um, we hold a lot of events together like the Apple of Grape and all that kind of stuff um, and it's very much a community based business side of things. So we're the old, oldest um, family owned winery in Queensland um, and these guys were one of the first ones here. So they really started wine in Sandor um, and Angelo who currently owns the winery with his partner Mary, um, they're the third generation in the Puglisi's to own it and they will be, um, there was a book written um, about Angelo and they call him the grandfather of winery in Australia. Wow. In 1970, these guys built um, the cellar and they've made extensions and all sorts of stuff. Um, before that, they've been making wines, um, but they were just selling it out of their shed, out of the office part over there. And um, this was the cellar ring before they had the sheds and everything that they've extended right. into now. Um, yeah, so 1970, this was built, and that's when a lot of the, um, they planted a lot of their grapes. Is there any, what, what's your observations here like so far, guys? It's like a pork glue that's been left on the bench overnight and smithing it to see if it's still good to eat the next day. It's been a great day out. I do actually think if you had a whole weekend, you could really make it work here in Stanthorpe. We only had a day, but we still enjoyed it. Absolutely. How much good fun hanging out with these guys, I tell ya. Uh, the wine connoisseurs, the cheese connoisseurs, you, you name it, they're foodie connoisseurs, so <laughs> it was awesome hanging out with you both. So, so if, you've got, if you're coming to Stanfield for the day, you've got to book Terry and Charlotte to come with you. Yeah, great tour guides. Oh yeah, seriously, I think the, the highlight for me personally was when we started off, and I think it, it's that apple pie with the crust, you yeah. couldn't be that one. Wines, um, give it or take it, yeah, but... 
if you have to come, just come for the beautiful. It's a beautiful place, yeah, nice and green. Great day out. Yeah. And saying that, there's about 50 in the whole area, but around this area here, they said it's about 30 wines, so it's really nice. They've done two wineries, so it's been good. They've got a couple of breweries here in Stanthorpe, apparently pretty nice as well, so yeah, we didn't get a chance to get there because we've run our time. Anyway, we'll see you back in Brisbane. Yeah. Ready for some all, Greek all, food. Yeah, some Greek food and fair income adventures. Fair income adventures. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Nice reminder. <laughs>